What is going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Now, a little over a month ago, I ran you through the entire process of getting a crystal clear Flipper Zero case printed by our partners over at PCBWay.com. Now, figuring out exactly how to make a clear case for the Flipper Zero has been something the community has been trying to tackle for over a year. Well, our good friend in Discord mod ZR Kraken finally got it sorted out. Now, as soon as he got that model figure out, I immediately sent out an order to PCBWay.com to see exactly how nice they look. Now, let me tell you, it did not disappoint. We did make some minor tweaks on the STL because actually when we have it printed with PCB way, they will print it in resin, but the secret sauce is actually spray varnish. In fact, the first one that we actually printed was the exact one-to-one -one copy STL file. So, I mean, printed on any printer, it will print perfectly every time. However, when we got the spray varnish on it, it actually reduced the size of the GPIO holes. I actually had to take a pair of vice grips and a very small drill, and I'm sitting there like this, clearing out all of the GPIO holes for the nine cases that I got. Well, with that additional knowledge, Kraken actually went ahead and modified the case specifically for PCB way. So if you get one printed and you use their full transparent with the spray varnish, it will print absolutely perfectly. Well, when we got that first STL finish, we actually already knew that Flipper themselves were coming out with their very own clear case. Well, that was actually part of the reason why ZR hustled his way through getting that STL finish so that the community could create the first crystal clear case. Well, after patiently waiting for shipping, I finally got my transparent Flipper Zero, but the official one. You can see that it is factory sealed. I haven't opened it at all, haven't looked at it, so we're gonna do a live unboxing for that. So let's get ready for the Clear Case Showdown. It's community against official. Let's get at it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually run you through the entire process of printing your own clear case from PCBWay.com. That way, if you wanna get just a shell, you don't have to replace your entire flipper. Also, importantly, I never really showed you how to get a colored case printed. And since they're not cheap, I wanna make sure that if you do choose to get a color case printed, it'll be exactly the right color and exactly the right finish. So let's hop on over to desktop and I'll show you how it's done. And here we are over at PCBWay.com, who is the sponsor of today's video we're just gonna go ahead and click on the shared projects tab and then we're gonna search for flipper clear shell whoops s h e l l and there we have from our boy zr kraken right here all we'd have to do from here is click add to cart and then we're gonna select quantity one because we only want one for today and then we're gonna we have our resin already and then let's see we're gonna do utr 8100 transparent and it's gonna come with a spray varnish so that's gonna be our classic transparent shell with no coloring. If that's all you want, all you have to do is scroll down and then there's one part. We do want to click on the wall thickness risk taken. It's very hard for me to say that out loud, but that's gonna make sure that they're not gonna throw it back to us during the review phase. Now, if you want a color, all we have to do is go to surface finish and then we're gonna to go to query highlight Pantone color number. So this is gonna open up all these cool Pantone colors and this will get us a very nice like high gloss finish. Now I do want to note, pick a color that's lighter than what you think you want because it's gonna come out looking a little bit darker, especially when it's on. So if you want like a blue color, let's see. Let's see if I can find a color close like, cause I picked something kind of like here. I would pick a few colors lighter. So let's go down, let's see if we can find like, I'd go to like here. Pantone uh, 2225C, hard to say. We can copy that. And then when we go back over to here, we can paste our Pantone color and hit submit. Now you will notice that did increase the price of it. However, when they review it, it is very likely it will come back at a higher price. I did have my first colored case run at about $50 printed. So again, just keep this in mind. Now I will have a link down below to get to ZR Kraken's PCB way profile. We can also go to printables.com and he's got the shell replacement here. Now it's important to know if you're going to print this on your own, which you certainly can, or if you want to print this in a material that's not the spray varnish, you can use one of his models on printables, and that's gonna not be the one that we adapted after accounting for the spray varnish. 
So yeah, just know exactly what you're ordering because you can order a black case. If you want a black case because you haven't been able to get one, you'll never be able to get one. You can print your own and it'll be a lot less expensive because it won't be dyed. All right, so now that I've run you through how to get your own replacement case from PCBWay.com, uh, let's take a look at the official transparent flipper. Now, I have heard rumors that it might be available on the parts store. However, the parts store is not open yet. And I mean, who knows? They may only release these as transparent flippers. Again, I have no idea. It's all speculation. All right, so let's switch over to the top down and let's do an unboxing. All right, so here we have it right here. And again, as I showed you before, it's got the original tape on it. So let's get this open. Always cut towards yourself, kids. There we go. And with one hand for some reason, we'll open this up. We have a new Flip the World sticker. You all noticed that the original stickers said Hack the Planet. I think there was a marketing change, so now it's Flip the World. We have our quick start guide, as usual. Got our USB cable, as usual. Yeah, we don't really need this, because we have a ton of them. And then we have, oh, here we go, our beautiful transparent flipper. Let's get this eh, out of the box and take a look. Oh, it's so glorious. So if I get it a little bit closer here. All right, let me switch to manual focus so we can see it better. All right, there we go. Let's do the extremely satisfying pull. Yep, here we go. Awesome, really nice actually. You can see some lettering inside there as well. See the back and the back looks really nice. Did they change the tape? Yeah, I don't see the tape like there is on the other cards. I gotta, we gotta look at that in a second. Cause yeah, I don't see the same adhesive tape as I saw on the original flippers. So very interesting. Let's go ahead and fire this up and take a look at it. Hey mate, press arrow to continue. You can't see any of this. I'll turn the exposure down in just a second. This is, oh, there's my name. Again, you can't see, but in one second, I'll turn the exposure down and then I'll show you. What's going on? Need SD card. I know, I know. Settings, LCD, backlight way down. Here we go. Now we can actually see things. And then we can go over. Hey, there's my new name. Vit Millionaire. Neat. Now, as always, it's sad because it doesn't have an SD card. However, I do have an SD card from, ugh, fingers are hard to use, Rabbit Labs. So let me go ahead and plug that in. Always remember if it goes in upside down. And then uh, jam that sucker in there till it clicks. Okay, no database is found. Obviously it's a brand new flipper. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, update it and install custom firmware. And we're gonna be one-to-one -one with everything. So let's get that done. I'll be back in one second. Hey, here we go and we're back. So yeah, now we're working again. So let's compare this guy right here to the clear one made by the community. All right, it's Graham over here. Boom. And uh, take a look at the differences. I'll switch over to manual focus. All right, so manual focus and my lights as bright as possible. So you can definitely see there is a pronounced difference between the two of them. One, the community one is definitely much, much clearer. If we flip it over to the back, you can really see the difference. Now, what I was saying about the tape before, you can definitely see that either they're not using tape or they're using a different type of tape, but it does look much different. Also, you'll notice, which is kind of nice, this guy has, it's gonna be hard to actually see it, but it's got all the numbers and stuff on it. Now, granted, it's virtually impossible to read, regardless of whether it's on camera or not. So I guess those the having the actual letters on there doesn't help as much as I was hoping. This one obviously does have the flipper text. I could get a sticker or an applique for it, but you know, I think it looks just fine, completely clear as it is. Now, when we actually get to take a really close look, you can see how great of a job ZR actually did getting this thing nailed. I mean, you can see all of the different parts between the two flippers and how obviously some parts are missing because you don't need them like the text on here, but everything else is like really crazy how good of a job he actually did on making these. Now, I mean, between the two of them, uh, the clear resin case, in my opinion, looks nicer. Now. The thing that we're not gonna do is a drop test because I think that's where you're really gonna notice the difference. This is, I believe, still ABS and it's injection molded. So this is a pretty sturdy case. This is resin. So this is clear resin. It's not the strongest stuff in the world. I do know that people have dropped them and scratched them, things like that. I guess you should probably use a, a case for it, but I mean, the fact that you've got a clear flipper, why would you wanna put a case on it if you know, you're know you just gonna, it ruins the point of having a clear flipper, in my opinion. 
Now, also, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, mention already that Kraken's actually made aftermarket buttons, so he's got the STLs for that. He's also working on replacing this black inside with either clear or a color, as you can see actually on, I believe it's on its printables page, actually it might be on the uh, the PCB way page, but either way. He's also got a replacement for this orange part inside here, so he's got a custom print for that. Really cool, so really what the communities come out with and what official flippers come out with they're kind of completely different things. Now let's compare this to my blue one. So the blue one, and here we go, let me press the button to make sure it doesn't turn off. The blue one is gorgeous. However, remember what I was saying before about it being a little dark? It's definitely a little dark. Plus, if, by the way, if you do actually uh, you know, get your own clear case, just take the tape off. You can rub this off with your thumb when it's off. It'll look way better. The NFC coil will just sit, if you got it you know, right on this arch right there, it'll work just fine, but you don't need the tape, and I believe the tape is really ugly. You can see how ugly it is on this one. So take the tape off, you know, I told you. Also, because this was an early run, and it's hard to see. Yeah, those are the hand-drilled holes that I made. You'll notice that they're actually square in the official one, and on the updated case that ZR did, they'll still be square. Mine are hand drilled out because, again, they were slightly oversized, and you can see my uh, I wasn't perfectly straight on all of them. It works just fine. I've, I've tested all these, each and every one that I hand drilled out. They worked fine, but yeah, it was a little tricky to do. Also to keep in mind that the tabs, the tabs up in top and bottom, they don't fit as well as the, yeah, the actual official ones because of that spray varnish. Without the spray varnish, it will fit perfectly, but as long as you're careful, uh, you don't really even need the tabs. Also, as a quick heads up, if you are doing the clear case from PCV Way, remember these are resin. You do have to be very careful to make sure you don't strip out the screw holes. It's very soft material. Now, I actually assembled this with my little uh, automatic electric screwdriver set to low torque, but I managed to not strip out any of these. And one of the nice things you can do because it's so clear, you can actually watch the screw going in and kind of make sure that it's still moving as opposed to stripping out. So yeah, and I've taken this apart one other time. I do want to pull it apart, put the RGB mod in it, but I'm waiting for Astro's RGB mod because it does have an LED out for a possible future upgrade. So yeah, those are the Flipper Zero Clear cases. Obviously, they all have their quirks, they all have their ups and their downs and their differences. I don't know why I'm trying to make this into some sort of story, but you know, they're cool in their own ways. Now, obviously the original one, this was made by the community. This was something that a bunch of people worked on for a very long time. And finally, one person, Kraken, happened to figure out literally the last few bits of it to make it all work, which were actually getting the pogo pins to line up. It was very difficult to get these to line up. So many people tried and quit this project. So the fact that this exists and is as nice as it is, is a testament to the Flipper Zero community. And again, I can go on and on and on about how awesome the Flipper Zero community is. Now, the blue one was super cool. I still love this thing. This color is so nice. It's just a little dark. I wish I printed it later. It's possible I'll redo this with a possible upgrade later on down the road. We're kind of working on things in the background, but super cool. I love this one. Plus, this is my original flipper. This one I got back in September of 2022, and it's been through an absolute lot. So this guy, you know, even though it's a little darker than I want it to be, I still love this thing. So yeah, there you have it. It is the official Flipper Zero transparent case uh, or transparent version, I guess. Um, they, I think they did sell out in the United States. I know they're still up at Lab 401 and there's a possibility they might re-release it. Who knows? If you're looking for your first flipper, I would definitely get one of these. It's really cool. Maybe you want a backup one or a second one. Maybe it's cool because it's limited time release. Who knows? But, you know, it is really cool. Now, that being said, if you don't want to buy a whole new flipper, definitely go ahead and get printed from PCBWay.com, the crystal clear resin case. It's completely optimized for it. And yeah, it's super cool. Link down below for everything you can need for printing cases, including the PCBWay resin case, as well as all the other STL files if you want to get it printed in any other materials. Thanks for taking a look at the brand new transparent flipper case from the official flipper guys. We're going to catch you next time. Oh yeah, almost forgot, I wanted to show you this too. I've got my official Wi-Fi dev board here. Let's open this up for the first time. Cool little thing that nobody really told us about. So yeah, you open it up and you've got the Wi-Fi dev board, right? Well, guess what you didn't know was inside this box, we take this off, we have instructions. Like, literally nobody knew this stuff was here. So if you've got a official Wi-Fi dev board, 
open up the back of it and find the instructions. Take it easy.